I, I think it's a super interesting topic. You know, data, we live in an era where you sort of bow down to data. We talk about big data. We talk about the power of data. Um, but I think that we assume data literacy amongst an entire population where it's not there. And we assume that everyone values data in the same way. And I think that's a false assumption, first of all. I think that for many people, they're not exposed to data in the sense of the way we think of data. And we don't make the use case for it. We leap in with an assumption that the data will speak for themselves, and they don't, right? They, as you said very nicely, well, those data need to be translated. The other thing is we live in an era where um, data has become an extractive industry. And data should not be an extractive industry, right? And so many people are skeptical of data because people have come and they have extracted data from people all the way from communities, from hospitals, and those data are taken away and they are published in global fora and they're used to make global decisions, but they're not used locally, right? And until we sort of drive a culture of an appreciation of data, building a culture of how do we appreciate and understand data and having data ownership rest with those whose data is being used and put the locus of decision-making there, then I think data actually has only served to drive a wedge into what should be something that can unify people. And so I think we really need to address that culture of mistrust that's actually emerged from, from this data as an extractive industry and figure out how data can be gathered by people. And before those data go anywhere, analyzed and used at the local level before they're sent off for aggregation and decision-making at provincial, national, global levels. And until we really do that, I think we're only kidding ourselves that data can actually transform health in the way that we think it should. Mm -hmm.